Republican Tim Neese was born March 17th of 1955 in Lebanon, Indiana. He's director of the Solid Waste Management District of Elkhart County and was an Indiana State Representative from 2002 to 2014. He's also a former senior assistant with the Indiana Secretary of State's office. Mr. Neese is a graduate of Lebanon High School with a BS degree from Ball State University. Major influences were his parents and former Indiana Secretary of State, Ed Simcox. His favorite book, President Reagan, The Triumph of Imagination by Richard Reeves. Favorite song, Layla by Derek and the Dominoes. Favorite person in history, Abraham Lincoln. Leisure activities include basketball and working outdoors. Welcome, Tim. I want to start by asking you why are you running for mayor and what previous experiences qualify you for the job? Well, I'm running for mayor because I want to lead the city of Elkhart and cooperate with people and not intimidate people. Uh, I have 15 years on the Elkhart City Council. I was a Indiana State Representative for 12 of those years. I feel like I'm a good communicator. I want to work with people that will both vote for me as well as against me. I'm not interested in party labels. I want to work with people that live outside of the city as long as they have good ideas to keep the city of Elkhart moving forward and keep us on edge. Okay. Now, your past experience then you think will be useful. I do think it will. Uh, I actually have worked in both the public and private sectors and during my 12 years as an Indiana State Representative, was either the chairman or the ranking minority member of the local government committee. And during that time, worked with mayors and city council people, county officials on just a cross section of municipal issues. And I think during that time, that has prepared me to be the mayor of the city of Elkhart. Okay, could you please tell me what you think is the biggest challenge and the biggest opportunity facing Elkhart right now? I think the biggest challenge is the diversity of the city of Elkhart in terms of keeping it diverse, not so much the focus with the recreational vehicle industry, which is and will always be the anchor, and that's a good thing. But I'm interested in attracting high-tech jobs. I'm interested in medical-related jobs, perhaps plastic in terms of an industry. And not only do I want to do that, but I think also an equally important challenge is to not, not only attract jobs, but to keep the existing jobs in Elkhart. If we have X amount of jobs that come to Elkhart, but then we also lose some, then that net gain is not very impressive. And so the biggest opportunity? Well, I think the biggest opportunity is, is simply to keep the city uh, going forward, keeping people employed. Uh, and when people are employed, we see less crime, we see uh, uh, neighborhoods that are, are actually more proud uh, of, of uh, where individuals where they live and I think uh, it also in a positive way affects a lot of social issues with regard to employment. So then if you are elected what will be your top two priorities? Well one of course would be the economic development in terms of attracting business as well as a variety of business and then secondly I would like to implement a merit system for police and fire. What we have now is we have a five-member Board of Public Safety that the mayor appoints. And what I want to do is have a five-member police merit board and a five-member uh, fire board where the mayor gets one appointment, the city council select two individuals, not from the city council, and then the police and the fire each select people. These can be people uh, perhaps uh, retire, they can be uh, in the insurance business, they can be uh, a teacher for that matter. I feel it's more representative of the community and merit means merit and I like that concept. It's, it's not a new approach. We've had merit systems with sheriff's departments going back to the early 70s and uh, I just think that's a far better way to to hire, to promote, and discipline individuals rather than five members that are all appointed by the mayor. Okay. Now, 
you've already mentioned that you served on the city council and also as a state legislator. What would you say to Republican primary voters who feel fed up with politicians in general and think they need somebody from the outside? Well, I think experience is important. Uh, I, I would also say that during my 12 years in the legislature, I was certainly not part of the club. Uh, the record shows that, that I listened to people both for and against any given issue. I sought out lobbyists that were for and against an issue and then made what I felt was an informed decision as opposed to knowing what the issue was and then being told to do that. It's not easy to go against the party leadership and in some instances the governor, but I've done that on numerous times. Okay, now in the last 30 seconds we have, please tell our viewers why they should cast their votes for you on election day. Okay, thank you. My name is Tim Neese and I'm running for the mayor of the city of Elkhart. I want a administration that will not always agree with me. I want people that will actually challenge me, but at the same time, we're going to think not only outside of the box, but we're going to step on the box, keep the city of Elkhart going forward and solicit ideas regardless of party preference. Thank you. Thank you.